So here's an overview of the bulldozer document. It's a, it's a Google Doc, Google presentation that can be collaboratively edited. In it, we show the plan of what we've done. It's a working document that we continue as, as we go forward. We try to keep things in, in a Scrum fashion using Scrummy. Um, we've so far built the micro tractor with tracks and we're scaling that up to a much larger size so you can see how that, that looks. These are the different kind of configurations that we've considered and we've settled on one that is essentially two power cubes side by side and then a third one behind. So two individual micro tracks, not the wider track module like you see here. We've explored these different options. We considered how, what happens if you just take the micro tractor and put them together? What if you take the tracks and make them wider or elongate the tracks? But figured that if you use the micro track itself as the base building block, then simply putting multiple units of that together gets you a much larger machine. And that way, you're not modifying uh, taking off tracks and breaking tracks or maybe uh, taking off power cubes or no, like make it to make it as simple as possible. We're using the micro track as a building block. So consider that that's a Lego unit. You can put two or three of them together in a workshop. We're building three of those. So we have decided upon that, which means that you will have two micro tracks side by side with a third one in the back. So we go through different configurations that we've considered. We've considered one that looks like this here. Um, and this is the prior work. But the basic concept here is building a so-called high track drive system where you have a drive sprocket on the top and idler wheels on the bottom on the ground with a big track around that. So it's like Caterpillar, they have a high track version basically where the drive is on top so you don't get it dirty and it's a, it's a convenient configuration. We've gone through some calculations also, which are in another document. And the main concepts here are in this document, we're going through how we, we design the tracks with the idlers, with the drive sprockets. Uh, we use very large, powerful wheel motors that are about 15 to 17,000 inch pounds of force. You can find them in surplus center. We've prototyped it rapidly using a 3D printer to find the basic geometry of the tracks. Um, also, we used a sprocket generator to generate the actual professional, I mean, the, the authentic sprocket, just like on a bike chain. There's a particular geometry formula that you can use for that. And we are here showing how we're using clamps instead of keyways. Here we also show a keyway, but we're using clamps in the current implementation to do things. And the overview is that you have universal rotor units, you've got idler units where the track rides in, you've got the power cube, you've got the basic frame. Because the power cube already has a frame on it, the frame that we're using for the micro tracks and the bulldozer is a very simple flat frame made of the 4x4 tubing. Only other things there are the, the track tightener and pretty much that's an entire bulldozer including all the implements that you have to add on the front and back. Now we followed industry standards to see how how to design our own. So we looked at bulldozer tracks, we looked at how chain looks, and combining basically a bicycle chain with industry standard bulldozers, we designed our own geometry for how our track would look. Here's what the professional version looks like. You can study basically as a bunch of rollers, idlers. In our configuration, we only have the drive sprocket, we have the tracks, we have two idlers, but because the, the bed, the, the, the length, the wheelbase is rather short, we are not using the all the rollers like in a professional bulldozer, keeping it as simple as possible. So here we go through the track sections, how we are designing them. We're looking at uh, aggressive treads by simply welding on an angle or just a protrusion on the track pads. And here we talk about other considerations, just looking at industry standards for that people have doing sidewise bulldozers configurations and trailing configurations. Uh, here we're talking about how we do the the loader arms. In another document, I have all the calculations for the bulldozer in terms of the, the shaft strengths, the idler strengths, the amount of torque, the speed, and all of that. It's actually, there's a bit of engineering that goes into the design. So it's first time that we had to go through all the numbers because if we're dealing with 21,000 pounds of torque, we have to make sure everything holds and doesn't fall apart. 
And in the current version, we're not using any gear down. We're just using the rotors as they are with the drive sprocket. And the next implementation, we'll also add the, the gear down module where we gear down from 21,000 pounds of torque to 42,000 pounds of torque. That'll be our next experiment.